Uh, I think the, the United Arab Emirates have been very, very successful with their program. Uh, I think it's it's a really good model. Um, How long did that take? So they they took about eight years from a standing start, um, and uh, they were they were pretty good. But they built that on the back of the Korean program, and their goal was to have the global gold standard. So I'm very impressed with the Emirates. Uh, they're remarkable people. Uh, they've trained their engineers to a very, very high standard. Um, so they've done everything right. So they're, they're a pretty good benchmark for Australia, I'd say. Um, and for small modular reactors, we're seeing the first projects going in in the States. But as I say, I think we could lead the world with these nuclear batteries, these small plants that go into regional rural areas. We've got the big red middle. Um, Canada's got the big cold north. Uh, South Africa is, you know, a great potential partner. Um, uh, some of the countries in the north of Africa would love to work with Australia. Uh, they want our sort of democracy. Uh, Tunisia is a great example. I spent some time in Tunisia. Tunisia has got a nuclear program. Um, it's got a smaller population than us. Uh, wonderful um, people who are very committed uh, to the development of their region. Um, just across the, the pond from France, of course. Yeah. Italy's just recommitted to nuclear. This was after a long wait. Um, the current Italian government says they want to build nuclear. Uh, Sweden is back. Um, you know, it's remarkable that uh, we live in this little bubble where a combination of fear and foolishness is keeping us from really high quality electricity.